Hello, hi, I'm Patricia McNeely. I'm a Blu-ray twin flame from Chicago, Illinois, a real genuine Blu-ray. How are you today? Today I wanna to talk to you about this energy that we're in and part of what it's actually pushing out of and pushing you out of. So I know from talking to a lot of people, this is intense. I feel the intensity, I'm not immune to it. There's also a lot going on in people's families that is intense. And it's a little bit confusing too. And people are seeing little flare-ups here and there. What are the little flare-ups? Well, some of the little flare-ups are actually emotions that normally might lead to a big conflict, but it's sort of simmering down. And there's important things to know about what's happening. As we approach the lion's gate, the lion's gate actually means being able to finally put closure to something. Closure to fighting, and along with fighting goes bickering, and along with bickering goes dissension, disharmony. And yet, if you've done a lot of work, you're going to find you're on the lighter side of it. If you haven't done certain types of work, you're going to find that this is a push that is very unwelcome and baffling. Quite frankly, a lot of the things that will happen to you from now on will be very confusing, very confusing to your mind. And you cannot discount what is happening because even though there are still things happening in the world, we see it all over. I mean, I live in a city where things happen. The strain is ameliorating, you could say. There's another nice French word we've borrowed here into English, ameliorate. What does that mean? It means to a diminishing degree. The things that run in people's families. So that is actually what is going on here. So if you have, if you have a couple and the couple is going to be together, but you have things that have happened with relationships, relationships, karma, repeating things, ancestral patterns. And there's some really important stuff that you need to know about. Okay. When I say you need to know about it, what I mean is that you need to address it with your body, through your body. Sometimes it's inside your body. Sometimes you have to get the other parts of your body up and running because only you can. It's time to start bearing some responsibility for the things that you can do and understanding what you surrender on because it's not something you can do at the human level. That's really what surrender means. It doesn't mean rolling over and playing dead, nor does it mean going out and dating while you're holding space for someone. It doesn't mean that. My suggestion is be celibate and be sober. Okay, those are two things that will really serve you well on this journey. If you can't do that, it's time to reach out for a little bit of help to do it, especially if it's not that big of an issue for you. For some people, it's a really big issue. For other people, they just can't seem to stop wanting to find someone else to cling on to. And that's a part of this energy. You're going to find that it gets very elusive for you. I'm not wishing that on someone because God knows the loneliness of this sometimes is very, very uh, overwhelming. These energies are overwhelming like a wave came in. So if you're part of the second and third wave, you're feeling some of this. What else is going on here? Well, a lot of people will say that, well, I'm on the hamster wheel. I keep running and running and running and not getting anywhere. I say you're completely in a gerbil cage. That's what Earth is sometimes. We, until we get turned into sort of that little animal version of ourselves that starts biting and sniping at others, or they do it to us. They pick on little things. They pick a needle until it is overwhelming. They push and they poke and they prod. And yeah, these are some of the old patterns that are there. That runs in my family. My grandmother didn't have, my great grandmother didn't have television. You know what she liked to do? She liked to bait her sons. Well, one of those sons was my grandfather and it stayed with him. And that's on the Slavic side of the family. So there's some, you know, pretty stubborn mindsets there that have had to be overcome. But what else does it do? 
it can make the physical body sick. If you're arboring resentments, if you hold grudges, if you are exhibiting certain patterns of behavior with friends, with someone that you claim to love or they claim to love you, okay? There's a lot being made about people thinking they found a solution because they found one word and that word is narcissist, okay? Narcissist is being used to sum up a lot of things, but it is not a catch-all for everything and nor does, is, is it a solution. Just labeling something isn't giving a solution for how do you get out of it. Sure, your body doesn't want to be there. And in the old way, you'd be stuck. That is what this closure with the lion's gate is enabling you to do is to finally close it out. But you bear responsibility in that. So part of this, and I say masculine and feminine relations because this does not just mean just men and women. It can mean lesbians, it can mean gay men, it can mean trans people. Okay, and a lot of people will go down the line, you know, they, 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 LGBTIQ, Q, 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 they, 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 they. It doesn't matter. If you're an angelic, you can label yourself all you want, but the fact of the matter is the relationship patterns might still be in you. Okay, and you may not like it, and maybe even that's a reason for why would you like to get away from things? Why do you not want to follow and stay in a box that someone thinks you should be in? I don't believe people should stay in boxes. So what are we doing here exactly? Well, you finally have a time where you're able to shift out of old karma. What is some of the old karma? Well, the old karma is that stuff where people say, oh, you have to, you know, stay within these confines and do this and what's expected to you. You know what some of the old karma is that a lot of females have? Birthing a baby or should you give birth or do you have to give birth or are you obligated to birth or is your biological clock pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing and it's putting the cart before the horse before your body's really ready for it? Or have you birthed and you're going through some of the relationship issues with your own progeny? Maybe, okay? Because that is a part of shifting out of the old karma and ancestral patterns so that you two can live together. Now remember, twin flames are intended to live together. I am here as a champion of the people who have either never met, met each other in a dream, or you're in a form of separation. I'm here to help you learn how to hard communicate, how to get your body up and running so that you can use your body as the creative part of you, as the part of you that helps you manifest and maintain your life and maintain yourself at a level of health that befits you. That is who I am. I get regularly criticized because people say, well, hey, what are you talking about? I know a heck of a lot more than even people who claim to be together. So you know, let's not be negative here. Everyone has sort of the, the thing that they're here that they specialize in. That happens to be what I specialize in, is getting people to get their template and integrating the new life body template. This is a template for living while being guided from the fifth dimension. It's very simple, okay? But the process of it and the feel of it is wild. It is just absolutely wild. You're going to bring all those patterns from grandma and grandpa and all your ancestors into your divine marriage. I think not. You and everyone will be throwing some of it away. What else happens in this energy? Well, what happens when people are confined? Okay, let's, you know, you could call Earth a hospital. Yes, it's been a hospital where people come to get well. You can call Earth a learning center because, yes, it is a level where we learn or we get a refresher on what not to do or what it's like to be in really 3D environments. It's not your normal. What is your normal? Your normal is to live as an ascended being. And in that sense, everybody here is extraordinary. No matter how ordinary you might think you are. And I get amazed every single time when I talk to someone because you cannot judge a book by its cover. 
You have to really talk to people and find out how amazing they are. It used to happen when I first started doing sessions. I would get all this information about people, their angelic origins, their planetary origins, their past life. It still happens. But most people want to know, when are we going to be together? Or what do we have to do to make things better? And so that is where I focus. Is It's not that I can't tell people those things. In fact, that's a lot of fun. I can tell people the origins of their birthmarks. I can tell them what happened in their past lives. But I'm here to help you build your future. I'm here to help you get those parts of you open so that not only is your future closer, it's actually very easy to maintain. And that's something that we are sometimes not accustomed to working with. We sometimes say, when is the shoe going to drop? Or how am I going to do this? Let me wrap my head around that. And there's no more head wrapping anymore. Not that kind of head wrapping. In fact, if anything, you'll be like, woo, 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 woo. Feeling dizzy lately? Feeling that lurch? Feeling chest pressure? Feeling constricted here? Feeling like something is dampening you down somehow? Do you feel kind of depressed or out of it? You're just not 100%. You feel a little bit kind of exhausted, but you're not really sure where the fatigue is coming from. I can help you with that. In fact, many people are gearing up here to not only connect deeply in certain areas of their body with their true love, but to actually be helping their true love through their own body with how some of this works. So I have a couple of things going on in order to help you with this. A book that I wrote, which is helpful for this time, this is an ebook. my book, Twin Flame Ascension and Inner Healing. Yes, it's book four. If you have the other books, this would be, they're good to go in sequence, but this one has very pertinent information for this time frame. I highly recommend it. I've gotten great feedback on it. You can view it on just about any device, and it is um, available using the link below. Now, what else? What else is going on? Well, you've heard some talk about, you know, the Lion's Gate. Okay, what is the Lion's Gate? The Lion's Gate is this portal of energy when we align with the star system of Sirius happens every year in the sign of Leo. What's Leo? It's the fire. What is the fire though? Fire is sometimes conflagration of conflagration of a conflict. Okay. Things fire up. Along with that goes the heat that a lot of countries are experiencing. It's hot in Europe. It's hot in the UK. It is hot in the United States. I mean, we have pockets of heat here that are out of our range of normal. There's a lot of things out of the range of normal, ladies and gentlemen, over this year, okay? And it's going to keep getting less and less, quote, normal because you're getting to a new normal. You're being connected to the cosmos again, like it or not, because that is the being you are. And in order to do so, the two of you have to be able to get up out of this gerbil cage. So you may want to break the stagnation. How do you do that? Well, first of all, help yourself shift some energies for yourself with me because it can help you do that. The other piece of it is how do you keep it going and how do you, you know, begin to launch yourself? Because couples are going to be going two by two. Put yourself into oneness and go. And... This is also something that is a misconcept that there's some mass thing happening with the collective. I like to call it batches, like almost as in batches of cookies. This batch of people is ready. That batch of people is ready. And sometimes it's referred to as waves. I use the word waves also. But when people sometimes look at the collective, well, you could look around and say, I don't really want to be in unity, can't, unity with those people, those people there. Okay, that's normal. You may have been, 
And maybe there's things that you just don't need to be connected to any longer. That's also a part of the process. That's also where I come in to help you disentangle and detach from a higher dimensional level. I am a source being. That means that I bring in source love to clear things pronto. That also means that when we're talking time frames for being able to clear things, the time is actually much shortened that it would normally take. And there's reasons for it because I want you to think about the word balance. If you are balancing out the things that happen, okay, right now I have family members taking themselves to the hospital to check on ascension symptoms, suspecting that they're okay. And naturally it's okay that the doctors don't find anything because in all honesty, ladies and gentlemen, that is good news. If your doctors do not find anything, you say thank you to that doctor and don't plan to see them for a little bit. But you check yourself out because if there is something, then you have to do something about it, okay? And I've had a lot of people that sometimes will ignore things or want to do it the spiritual way. And I've also had people, you know, overly go to the doctor. Balance. Balance is the key. Balance is the word that you're looking for. Now, let's talk about also balancing the finances of some of this, okay? A lot of people might be underinsured or no insurance, or in some countries they have insurance, but the insurance doesn't cover things. You can't go in and say, I think I'm having some ascension symptoms. You might fumble around. How would you like it if someone like me, who is the metaphysicist, who has the higher connections and gets the guidance to help you focus on where you should focus and make this an easier process where you can balance and get it, get through it a lot more expediently. That is what I believe in. And that is what I'm here for. And that is why I don't do card readings. I do body readings, which actually is much quicker because it addresses the two people in the union. Like it or not, and some people don't like it. They don't like being attached to someone who's dragging them behind the pickup truck. But like it or not, you are connected to someone, okay? And if that someone is up to no good somehow, okay, she can feel it. Same thing. If she's doing things, he can feel it. You're not going to not feel your twin anymore. And some people will say that, oh, I feel them all the time. But once you start integrating them, you're going to start feeling the body stuff. And that is also where I come in. So I have some things to help you with this. I have the book. I have Spirit Subtle Body, which addresses things uh, such as addictions, the reproductive system, anger issues, abuse issues, and generally what people would call narcissism. Are you being plagued by someone who's been a narcissist here, okay? Like, yeah, I'm giving in and using the word. But whatever you want to call it, bully, ignorance, avoidance, um, cold, cold-shouldered, you know, they only want one thing or they're only focused on themselves. Let's focus on you, okay? One of the good things that comes about when these things come into the vernacular is that people can identify things and stand up and say, hey, I deserve better. Yes, you deserve better. Now let's take it to the next level because maybe that's not even someone that you should tolerate their stuff, okay? It reminds me of a song. <laughs> Sorry. This morning I was listening to the song from uh, South Pacific by Rodgers and Hammerstein. I'm going to wash that man right out of my hair. I'm going to wash that man right out of my hair and send him on his way. Ride him off the range. Show him what the door is for. Okay, you get the idea, right? I can't sing this whole song. It's copyrighted material. But anyways, it's a lovely show. It's a lovely song. And it's one of my favorites. It's one of my personal favorites. So what if she wants to wash this man right out of her hair? How does she do it? Well, you actually have to do it with several areas of your body. You can't just forget someone because then they start popping up. 
They pop up in your dream. They pop up where you don't want to see them. You start seeing them and you're like, does it mean something that I'm seeing this person? Mm -mm. Not if it's someone who's negative and not if it's someone who's supposed to be in your circle of acquaintance anymore. But how do you not handle this like, oh my God, it popped up again. Boom. Whack-a-mole. Popped up again. Whoa. Popped up again. Why the pop-ups? Why the floating heads that pass along and you're saying, uh, what does that mean? But what does it mean actually? It may mean nothing except you still have some strings to detach. And that is where I come in. That is what I help with. Do you need to check in? Do you have questions on your angelic origins? Your, um, you need a follow-up? Do you have questions about things? Do you have some specific questions? Are you going through something? Maybe questions about your kids. I actually specialize in that too because I have a child. What was that? Oh, someone said I'm a pronatalist. Well, yeah, maybe I am because I actually had my child and he's 15 now. And we've been through a lot and we've been through helping him shifting out of the old karma. Okay. Yeah. Children happen. You can't deny them and you have to take responsibility for them. If they're here, if they're here, of course, what if your twin has children? How would you help the kids? Because those kids won't want to have grandma and grandpa's karma. They don't even want your karma. They don't, they're not here for the a repeat of that same life that you had with all that karmic stuff. Those are baby twin flames most of the time. They're here for the new light body template too. How do you help them? Get them some help. Get them some maybe non-traditional but very innovative help that will actually help them. And I don't even have to talk to the children. I can talk to you and find out what's going on and receive some guidance for you. We got through it. And there's things that run in people's families that are, you know, in their ancestry. I'll give you an example, okay? Maybe you've heard of this game, Assassin's Creed, okay? It's about assassins. <laughs> what if someone in the male lineage has actually been an assassin for government? or for a religious organization, okay? What if that turns into some bad blood of things that went wrong? Okay, it started with good intentions, okay? Are the children supposed to live up to that stuff or should this too ameliorate out of the genetic strain? Absolutely. And you might say, but I don't do that. But it's karma. Karma's been incurred. That's the thing that people don't understand. In fact, most of the ailments can actually be explained by karma. It's just that not everyone will um, accept that, so to speak. Now, how do you get your higher channels open? Because you need to do transmutation of this. How do you actually start to work with your light body proactively and not just passively where you're feeling like you're getting bumped along so that you're ready for what comes up in the next season? Because that's what this lion's gate is prepping you for. This is prepping you for next season. For a lot of people, it's going to pop open in 2020 in ways that you aren't even aware of right now. And I mean really wonderful, magical ways. The magic is happening. So the stories you hear this year are going to be very different than what you hear next year. Very, very much like brighter, okay? Just how some people are just um, hearing these words, twin flame, that might start to make sense for them. Other people will hear that next year or find it. What if you were a person that started to learn this? I do have a twin flame body practitioner course designed to help you become a go-to person for working with someone's body and helping them with endocrine, reproductive addiction, some of the same things here. How would you like to help people cut to the chase? It's possible. And we're now in the uh, level of vibration or the higher energy where such things will be possible. But it will be for people that, yes, you have to learn it, okay? And there's people that might seem very natural at this and some people that might feel drawn to it. And that's okay. 
Not everyone is going to be a healer. You still need people to do the jobs that they feel drawn to. If you look at the link down below, I will also be having a webinar coming up. And the topic of the webinar is abundance. Okay. This is something that is on a lot of people's plate right now in one form or another. And the struggle might be, well, we're integrating households, or I know I'm going to be living with my twin. What about my abundance? What about my health? Because I define abundance as several things. Abundance is your flow, essentially, which is health, well-being, the people around you, your finances, and your future. One of the things that not a lot of people um, give credence to is what about their future? And we'll be talking about that. So the links are below. Check out the link for this. I have several sessions. I have revamped the description. So check it out. Check out my website, twinflamesmerge.com, or email me at twinflamesmerge at gmail.com. And there's another thing I just want to make you aware of. So as part of my initiative to help you further, as you may know, or maybe not know, I also do have a online store and two of the supplements that I want to recommend to you, two herbs that are very helpful in these energies, Powderco, okay, and this is very good. It's what I privately call the get rid of people herb, but it works with your spleen, it works with your blood quality, it works to help sift out a lot of connections that you really don't want. And those are, those are more the metaphysical aspects of it that I'm talking about. There are actually medicinal aspects to it too. And milk thistle. This is a double strength milk thistle. This is to help you with mood, anger, detox, Emotional detox, I mean, that's a big thing for a lot of people. They just don't know what to do with it. And if you're having any of that or you're not sure, reach out to me. Now, if you get if you get one of the books, if you get this book and you get an herb, I will offer you a discount. Right now I can ship within the United States. But write me at twinflamesmerge at gmail.com or at twinflamebody.com is where those are available. Thanks so much for watching and reach out to me. I can help quite a bit. This is the fourth intense landscape I'm going through and believe me, I know it well. Thanks so much. And masculine feminine relations, don't forget about that. That's a real kicker. A real kick in the rubber parts as they say, but doesn't have to be. Okay? So thanks so much. Bye now.